Welcome back to our movie on. This time we will discuss the 2017 film entitled The Ritual which will tell the story of four climbers who accidentally enter a wilderness area that holds a terrible mystery. Of course, films related to forests and survival are always suspenseful and exciting to follow. What's the story? Straight away, without further ado, we'll discuss this film. Don't forget to prepare snacks and enjoy. The story begins by showing five friends gathering in a bar discussing plans for a vacation they haven't done in a long time. A friend named Rob also suggested climbing one of the mountains in Sweden. That idea sounds pretty good. It was while he was returning home that one of his friends, Luke, asked Rob to buy another bottle of alcohol, which seemed like the worst idea, because they both accidentally got into the wrong situation and place. When a group of criminals intended to rob them, when Rob decided to fight without taking a single step back, Luke, who was afraid, preferred to hide. What was even worse was that he just remained silent when he saw Rob hacked to death by one of the criminals. Six months later, Luke and his three friends were seen in the Swedish mountains, where this is a form of offering as well as realizing Rob's wishes which have not yet come true. The next morning it rained heavily, forcing the four of them to quickly descend the mountain, where Dom accidentally slipped which injured his leg. So they agreed to take an alternative route through the wilderness to speed up the journey. The first strange thing they found was an abandoned old car right in front of the mouth of the wilderness. I don't know why the owner just abandoned the car. Luke and his friends didn't want to think a lot of strange things and lots of unimportant conspiracies and theories and just went straight into the forest. What's interesting is that the trees in the Swedish mountain forest grow quite close together, creating a different atmosphere when their view is limited by trees when they were focused on walking suddenly. Yes, there is a dead deer hanging on a tree. Who knows what kind of wild animal had done it or what kind of hunter would have the heart to do something like this. They immediately continued their journey to avoid any danger that might be lurking. And yes, instead of speeding up their journey, they ended up getting caught in the rain at night. When he was about to set up a tent, Luck and his friends accidentally found a hut or cottage in the middle of the forest, who without thinking, just went in to take shelter until the next morning. There were several strange symbols hanging there, who knows what the meaning and purpose of these symbols were. All they were thinking about now was wanting to dry themselves from the wet and cold rainwater, where one of his friends named Phil went upstairs to look for things that could be burned but. Yes, there is a pile of headless straw dolls that have a strange shape. I don't know what the purpose of making these strange dolls is. Luke and his friends could only assume that the owner of this house might be a worshipper of a god or something. It was when everyone was fast asleep that Luke was suddenly awakened by a very bright light. Curious about this, he decided to go out and found himself in the same mini-market as the mini-market where Rob was stabbed to death. I don't know if this is just a nightmare or an illusion. Luke was suddenly outside the lodge with a strange wound appearing on his chest. In fact, it's not just Luke who experiences nightmares, but also his three friends who all experience different nightmares. One of his friends, named Hatch, even peed his pants and for Phil he was found completely naked in a position as if he was worshipping this strange doll. Realizing that something was not right with this cottage, the four of them immediately decided to leave and continue their journey. There was a bit of an argument when Luke wanted to go back and use the normal route, but Dom still chuckled about wanting to use this alternative route. After an hour of traveling, Dom, whose leg was injured, admitted that he was tired and wanted to rest for a while while waiting for Dom to recover. Luke took the initiative to go up the hill alone, perhaps he was close to the point they were all aiming for. And when he got up there, Luke couldn't find anything except the same trees he had seen throughout this wilderness. And yes, Luke accidentally saw a large, tall creature, whether it was a devil or some wild animal. Luke immediately returned to the others and told them about what he had just seen while also showing the scars he had when he woke up in the morning. Luke, who asked Dom to get up immediately and continue his journey, ended up getting involved in an argument that became increasingly heated, until Tom accidentally let slip by saying that Luke was a coward who had the heart to let his own friend die by being hacked. In fact, the three of them have known about Luke being afraid to defend his own friend for the past six months. Since Rob's death, they have deliberately kept this a secret in order to protect Luke's feelings, who will definitely feel even more guilty for the tragedy that happened that night. Of the four friends, only Hatch is the most realistic and cares the most about everyone's safety and fate. This was proven when he wanted and intended to go alone to look for reinforcements in the dark of this wilderness, and asked Luke to wait here to look after his other two friends. And yes, just as he was about to leave, he heard a loud scream from Hatch who seemed to be in danger, 
So Luke quickly woke up his two friends and tried to look for Hatch in the dark. After hours of searching through the forest until the sun rose, they never found Hatch's nose. Arriving at a location where there were several fallen trees, they finally found Hatch who was in exactly the same condition as the deer they had seen. Namely hanging on a tree branch with their intestines exposed, so they decided to immediately continue their journey to avoid the lurking danger. Late in the afternoon they arrived at a hill. Dom, who was exhausted, couldn't walk anymore, and neither did Phil, who seemed to be acting strangely, like someone who was mentally ill. Luke, who was the only person still sane, tried to walk a little further up the stairs, and managed to see the end of this wilderness, a sign that they were getting closer to their destination point. When Luke returned it was already evening with Phil who was seen shining a flashlight in all directions and suddenly, yes, Phil disappeared and was dragged away by the mysterious creature so that all that was left now was Luke and Dom. There was no other way except to run as fast as possible but because of Dom's condition it was not possible to do so. Then there is no other choice but to try to carry it as hard as possible. While they were running away, the two of them accidentally arrived at a location that looked like a welcome reception who when looking at a house. Luke and Dom immediately went in there, but they had to face another danger when the villagers in this place intended to make them both sacrifices. But the fact is that only Dom will be sacrificed, because thanks to Luke's wounds, he also had the opportunity to stay alive and had the right to undergo the recruitment ritual as part of this heretical group. Dom was tied to his sacrificial pole where all the residents immediately bowed down to worship something that appeared from behind the trees a monster or devil who they consider to be God and somehow this creature has the ability to create illusions. As if Dom saw the figure of his own wife even though it was nothing more than a trick before Dom met his death. Not long after Dom died, Luke, who was the only person still surviving, was visited by one of the members of the cult. Said that Luke was very lucky to have been chosen by their God to become one of his worshippers. The wound on his chest was a sign that the person had been chosen to be his future follower. Just like everyone else in this place has. What's interesting is that everyone who worships this creature is promised something very rare, namely immortality. This is what makes some sect members interested and loyal to worship this creature for hundreds of years. The condition for being able to become a follower is that the person must feel deep pain, whether it be regret or pain over past events, which in the end made sense why only Luke was selected because it had been six months since Rob's death. Every second of every day, Luke is haunted by feelings of guilt and pain over his inability to help Rob on the night of the incident. After pretending to be willing to take part in the recruitment ritual, Luke's hands were untied. Not long after the woman left, Luke secretly went to the weapon storage warehouse, climbed to the floor above after hearing a voice which turned out to be true what the woman had said about immortality. Everyone Luke saw now were ancestors who had lived for hundreds of years, maybe even thousands of years of worshipping these creatures. They really live eternally even though they can only sit like corpses and it's not fun at all. To avenge the death of his friends, Luke also burned the ancestors, including this hut. Not long after he got down and took a rifle, the creature appeared right in front of the door. Until Luke decided to escape through the back road. From a distance, the shape of this figure who was considered a god was finally clearly visible, which in my personal opinion looked more like a giant deer. Luke, who was still not satisfied with his revenge, decided to shoot him from a distance. Until the creature chased him back into the forest. This is where a tense moment occurs when Luke, who is just an ordinary human, has to fight a creature that has the ability to deceive illusions. Where Luke is finally caught and forced to bow down to worship the creature. I don't want to have to worship. Luke stood up several times as if to challenge this creature who was crazy about respect and position. Until finally Luke accidentally found an axe and hit the creature on the head until he was furious. Once again there is a chase between Luke and the creature just as the sun rises. Luke finally managed to set foot in the outside world with the creature that didn't dare come out of the forest. So that in the end Luke was the only person to survive this climbing nightmare. So where did these creatures come from? Is he the god who protects the forest to prevent illegal felling of trees, or is he a god who was cursed and banished in the forest so he is looking for his own followers with the guarantee of eternal life? I don't know what is clear. This film is very tense and exciting to watch. Okay, that's all for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and share wherever you like. Thank you for watching. See you in another video. I hope you are always in good health and given ease in all your affairs.